Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get away performance in Palworld using your Intel HD graphics. Once again, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on this. So here I am finally. Make sure to watch this video till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is updating your Intel HD graphics. And for that you have to search for Intel HD graphic drivers on your PC. And once you're on this Intel website, you have to click on get started and it will automatically download you the Intel driver support assistant. This will help you to automatically detect your Intel products and update to the latest drivers. After this, you have to set the best Intel HD graphic settings. And for that, you have to open up your control panel. Once you open up your control panel, you have to go over to display. Now in here, you have to set your monitor to the native monitor resolution. And then your refresh rate should be set to the highest refresh rate available for your PC. Then you have to go over to scaling and then click on maintain display scaling. After that, go over to color and in here, go to advanced. Over here, you have to set your saturation up to a little bit around 30 to 40. This will give you maximum color depth. Click on apply. Then simply click on yes. Now you have to go to 3D and then you have to click on application optimal mode. Simply click on enable and then for general settings, go over to performance. Then simply click on apply and then click on yes. After that, go over to profiles and over here, you have to check on all of these settings. Once it's done, go back and now go to power. Right over here, you have to click on maximum performance for plugged in and also go over to on battery and then do the same for on battery. Then simply click on apply and then simply click on yes. Now last is the video settings. Right over here, you will find basic settings. You have to click on application settings. And then for input range, also set to application settings. After that, simply click on apply and then click on yes. Okay, let's move to the next step that is the best config settings for Palworld. And for that, you have to press Windows and R key together. And over here, you have to search in for app data. In here, go over to local and then look up for Palworld. You will find Palworld like PAL, that will be the package for Palworld in this list. You have to open it up, go to saved. In here, you have to go to config, then go over to windows. And in here, you have to look up for game user settings.ini. In here, you have to right click on this thing and then you have to open it up with notepad. Now, first thing that you have to look over here is the resolution quality. Under the scalability groups, you have to set this thing to 85. Then view distance quality, set this thing to one and shading quality, set this thing to one. Make sure everything is set to one over here. Use vsync should be set to false and dynamic resolution should also be set to false. Now for frame rate limit, you have to set this thing to three FPS lower than your native monitor resolution. I have a resolution of 240 Hertz. So I have to set this thing to 237. If you have 60 Hertz, set this thing to 57. If you have 140 Hertz, set this thing to 141 and so on. Next thing is right under the game local settings. What you have to do over here is set your default graphics level to normal and make sure to set your graphics common quality to one. Once it is done, press windows and S key together and then close it. Next step is fixing all of your network issues using Gear Booster. Gear Booster helps you to tunnel your internet connection straight up from your PC to the game servers, which help you to fix your lag and ping issues. You can simply download Gear Booster from the link in the description below. And the application looks like this. Now, once again, they have recently added Pal World to their list. So you guys can simply look up for Pal World over here and you can find it on the list over here. And not just Pal World, but you can pick from over 100 games in this application. You can simply one click boost your game. And as you guys can see, it will automatically connect you to the nearest server. Gear Booster will automatically decide which server is closest to you by the auto server feature. And it will help you to show the estimated ping that you're going to get in the game and the amount of improvement that you are going to get in the game. I personally think that Gear Booster is a really helpful software since it helps me to fix my input latency and ping issues in not just Palworld but all of the games. The best part about this is over here you can go to the configure section then you have to go to optimization settings and simply enable all of these options over here and it will help you to fix your network issues on the go. So guys go check out Gear Booster links are in the description below. I hope it helps you to fix all of your network issues and help you to play with your friend. Now let's move ahead with the video. 
Next step is creating a restore point and for that you have to search for create a restore point on your PC and then in system protection look up for a local disk C simply click on create and name it pal world just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential for your PC. Now let's move to the next step that is the pal world intel hd optimization settings I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can also join my discord server for downloading this file you can simply open this thing up and in here you'll find an intel cpu priority. Now over here you have to run the intel cpu priority since your integrated GPU is also in your CPU. This will help you to prioritize your Intel HD graphics settings. Right after that, you have some of these options that is disable power throttling, game optimization, GPU priority. This will set your Intel HD optimization priority for gaming and as well as thread priority. You have to run all of these registries in order to utilize your PC's complete resources. And once it is done, you can simply close it out and you are good to play your game. Once again, I have faced a huge FPS boost before and after and I think this will work out for you guys as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and we'll come back with more awesome videos like this. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.